We're going to solve the differential equation dp over dt equals kp. So the p's are on the left and on the right. That's not good. They need to be on the same side. So if you need to first write the kp as over 1, then you cross multiply. It's a proportion, you see? So it's dp equals kp dt. That's cross multiplication. The 1 multiplied to the dp doesn't change anything. So then divide by p. So dp over p is equal to k dt. Now notice dt is what we call a differential. And then the dp is another differential, so you got anti-differentiate, like this. Anti-derivative of 1 over p, dp, and on the right side is the anti-derivative of k, dt. All right, notice on the left side I separated the 1 over p away from the dp. Why would I do that? Because then, you know, we can observe that 1 over p anti-differentiated is just ln of p. We can use the ln rule as an anti-derivative. Notice I don't need absolute value bars because the assumption is that the assumption is that p is greater than zero already. So it's ln of p, it's a perfectly defined quantity. On the right side, anti-differentiate. So in other words, this is as if you had the k outside as a constant, and then one is the integrand. So when you anti-differentiate, it's just gonna be k t plus c. We gotta get the p by itself. We're solving for big p. That's our objective here, right? So you can do that by exponentiating both sides. So in other words, write e raised to the ln p is equal to e raised to the kt plus c. This is allowed because e and ln are inverse functions. We have ln, you've got to get rid of it somehow. So then you exponentiate, and then you can cross this off with this, which means all that remains is that p is equal to e raised to the kt times e raised to the c. Look what's happening on the right side here. I've broken this down into e to the kt times e to the c. This is allowed by the rules of exponents. But then this e to the c is just a new constant. You can call it a, for example. Which means, in other words, our solution is p is equal to e to the kt times a. Now, conventionally, we say that p is then equal to a times e raised to the kt. And that's the solution to the differential equation. A is a constant, k is a constant. Here's all the work from top to bottom. Receive a like.